Hi and welcome to the Ice Scrub 50D operator training video. The Ice Scrub 50D takes a 20 inch pad or scrubbing brush. In this case, get your pad, place it onto the pad holder, clip on, and then fit to the scrub deck. To remove the pad holder or the scrubbing brush from the Ice Scrub 50D scrub deck, please remove like so. Here is the Ice Scrub 50 squeegee bar. Please take your squeegee blade and place onto this squeegee bar like so. Please ensure that the plastic support bar is then fitted to lock the squeegee blade in place. Then turn the clips vertically to hold in place. Please ensure that you remove the squeegee blade from the squeegee bar after every use for cleaning or if you need to turn over the blades. To place the squeegee bar onto the main body of the ice scrub 50D, make sure the winglets are undone, line up with the fish plate, slide on and twist the ringlets to lock on. Once the squeegee bar is fitted, please ensure that the suction hose is connected. To remove the squeegee bar from the Ice Scrub 50D, please undo the wing nuts on the fish plate, remove the suction hose and remove like so. To fill the 40 litre clean water tank, please remove the cap and fill with a bucket through that gap there. You can also use this hose to fill the clean water tank on the Ice Scrub 50D. To empty the clean water tank on the Ice Scrub 50D, please use this hose like so. To empty the dirty water tank, please use this dirty water emptying hose located on the side of the Ice Scrub 50D. To gain access to the dirty water tank on the Ice Scrub 50D, please remove the lid Please ensure that the seal is wiped down after every use. To check and clean the float, please undo the cap located inside the recovery tank. Please clean and dry the filter after every use. Do this under a tap. Water must not go down the filter pipe or you will damage the machine. Make sure that the recovery tank float is refitted correctly after cleaning. If the float rises to the top, then the vacuum motor will turn off as the dirty water tank is full and will need emptying. Do not leave dirty water in the recovery tank. Make sure that you clean out the recovery tank with clean water, avoiding the yellow float and filter in order to control the water flow whilst cleaning. This can be done with either a hose or bucket and clean water. Check for blockages in the recovery tank once emptied. Do not use a pressure washer to clean your machine. To adjust the water flow on the Ice Scrub 50D, please use this lever here. Pull it right to the top for the lowest amount of water being dispensed and then push down for the most amount of water being dispensed. The Ice Scrub 50D has its own onboard charger. The total run time is two and a half hours with a charge time of six hours. To charge the Ice Scrub 50D, please remove the catch, place the 240 volt cable into the onboard charger, and then there's LED indicator lights to show the progress of the charging. When the Ice Scrub 50D is fully charged, the LED light will go green at the bottom. The Ice Scrub 50D has a clean water filter located at the back of the scrubber dryer. Please turn this filter anti-clockwise to remove. 
please ensure that this is checked and cleaned on a weekly basis. To turn on the Ice Scrub 50D, please press the green power button. Next, turn on the scrubbing motor, then the vacuum motor, and the water pump. The battery level indicator runs from zero to four. If the indicator level goes down to one, then you'll need to reach a charging point quickly. To lower the scrub deck ready for cleaning, please press this pedal out to the right and lower like so. Next, you'll need to lower the squeegee bar with this handle. Finally, squeeze the triggers on the control handle and push forward to begin cleaning.